My name is Philip and you're watching Artists Using Linux. In this video I'll be showing you how to do a simple mix of your audio tracks in Bitwig using stock plugins. This is useful if you're a beat maker and uh, you maybe recorded your audio or made your track in a synthesizer and you would like to share it with other people um, on the internet or maybe upload it to, to a, a sound service. I will be using the audio I recorded in, from my Roland JDXi a synthesizer. I recorded them separately. Um, if you don't know how to do that, you can check out the video in the description that will show you how to set up your audio gear and uh, do a simple audio recording using Linux and Bitwig. Uh, so let's get to it. Okay, when you look at my uh, setup here, uh, this is the audio track that goes straight from my synthesizer all mixed together in the synthesizer. So you can take a listen to this without my, any uh, audio processing, just to hear the comparison. Which is fine, but is not really um, having any width or having any punch. Uh, so this is the track with uh, the audio processing, uh, so EQ and compression. This is how it sounds. So it has a more, um, um, it has a wider, more clear sound. Um, so we will only be using stock uh, plugins that are available in Bitwig to make it sound awesome. So when you look at uh, my um, channels and the things I'm, I'm, I have going on are basically always just an EQ and a compressor. So EQ compressor, EQ compressor, EQ compressor. Okay, so this is how you add them. I'll remove them now just to show you how to do it. So you press the plus button and then uh, you would type in EQ and then press the EQ5 over here and press OK and then press the plus button over here as well and then add type comp into the um, into the search bar and then just double click the compressor thing and it will add a compressor here. So when we listen to the uh, when we listen to the uh, channel or to the track without compression It's okay, but it's kind of, eh, I don't know. So what we need to do is to turn on, or yeah, I turn it off, but you won't have to turn them on. Uh, add a high pass filter or a low cut on 100 Hertz to all the channels except on the bass and the drums. Uh, and then add the compression with the threshold. So move the threshold around, you can see the blue bar moving so it hits with the orange with the orange bars that it hits the blue one. So we have some compression going on that it's not over compressed, but it's that it is triggering compression. So if you look at my horns channel, it's the same thing happening here. Good. With drums, I did something a little bit different. With drums, I EQ'd uh, the kick part of the sound and the snare part of the sound a little bit. So this is how it sounds without compression. Oh, sorry, just drums. Yeah, it's kind of weak. Now it has more bass. And with the compressor on, we, we would have more punch. And if you move the threshold down, you will hear that it gets louder. Okay, then we go to the bass. We have the same thing going on on the bass, except when I added the, um, the compressor 
what I did is I typed in com compressor and then I went to the presets and added this one, the compression one, because it allows me to do side chaining. Side chaining is basically having another instrument or another, another audio track um, trigger the compressor. Uh, and I will do it with the drums. I use the drums and then drums pre. It would be ideal just to use the kick, but since I don't have the kick separate, I have the drums track together. I'm just using the drums since it's a very simple drums, drums track. If it has a lot more hi-hat and, and cymbals going on, then it's useless. But since I'm using only kick and snare, it's, uh, it's good enough for sidechain compress compression. Uh, and I added a little bit of boost here on the 164 hertz. And the track sounds a little bit weak or sounds a little bit um, because of the compression. Sounds a little bit... Uh, sounds a little bit. The output is too uh, too uh, too um, too small, so I will increase the output. Okay. Uh, next up is to try and figure out uh, what uh, volume ratios we want on the on the channels. Uh, so if we go to, oh, we have to turn it this off just to just to demonstrate this. So if we go here, we would we will for for mixing we will start with the drums, and uh, just to hear how loud the drums go. So a good so if you select the drums, you will see how loud the drum drums go here. We will we hear that the peak or the the, the meter shows that the peak goes to minus six point five decibels which means we could go a little bit louder with the drums, maybe like the minus two. Um, yeah, if you go too hard, you will see that it starts clipping and it starts to show a red thing here. So you don't want to go that hard. And if you press on the red button, uh, on the red letters, it will, it will reset them to uh, show the actual peak. So we will go to something like two. Point two point four. That's really good. Next up, we have the bass. This is a good loudness. That's kind of a good sound, and then um, uh, th these are okay um, um, ratios between the, the 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 loudness, and then we will go to the reverb channel and just add a reverb just to make it stick better. So just add a reverb, and then over here add reverb on my roads and the horns. You maybe if you have guitars or something like that, vocals, you would add them to that. I will leave the drums dry. You can experiment with sounds and, and adding uh, adding uh, room to or uh, adding the reverb to those to those channels as well. You can experiment with the sound to get it how you like. But this is how it sounds then. We can see that we have the, the, the in the master chain that it's going to the red sometimes. So it is a little bit too hot. So I will go and, and decrease the volume of the drums and the bass since they are the loudest. Okay, next up is the mastering or the master channel. Um, we will use the same thing. So add an EQ, add a compressor, and then at the end, add a peak limiter. So if you go to plus and write in LIM, there's a peak limiter that will show up here. You will double click on it and it will pop in here. So what we want to do with the with the EQ is 
with the number five um, at 9,000 or 10,000 hertz, just add a little bit of boost, like um, uh, you will hear. Uh, you will hear what I mean. So if you add a little bit of this, it will sound brighter automatically. Don't go too hard with the boost here. It can um, trigger all sorts of weird fre frequencies, but this uh, 10,000K boost uh, will give some clarity or some air to the mix. Uh, then we will go to the compression. compression. Uh, uh, Use the same thing, only what I did here was uh, decrease the attack and release just to have a soft compression going on here that doesn't kill the sound. Also the same thing with the threshold, just have it barely pumping, nothing too much. And then with the peak limiter you would increase the input by 3 decibels to make it louder. Watch out that it doesn't that it doesn't um, uh, go wild over here. So if you would go too loud, so you will it will pump too much. We don't want. That. So we want some, somewhere between two decibels and, and, and four decibels, Depend, depending on how loud your track is. But yeah, increasing three decibels is good. The release uh, ratio can be can be whatever sound you're preferring. But I'm I do it somewhere here in the middle on 300 milliseconds. Okay, now that we have uh, our track and are uh, satisfied with how it sounds, we will select we, uh, the, the track with uh, the pencil tool. So this is the pencil tool. Then go to File, go to Export Audio. And then uh, we will select the loop region over here. Select the loop region, select wave if you want, or uh, or flak, or whatever sound you want. I'm going to just select the MP3 since it's uh, a simple track uh, and it's not done. Uh, so the loop region, MP3, and then um, hit OK. And then it will ask me what the name of the track is and where to save it. I just call it demo track. Demo, sorry. And hit save. And now it's exporting. And this is how you do a simple mix. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, leave a comment and hit the like button. Thank you for watching.